Hey YouTube, this is Magician34. Uh, I've got a quick deck for you. Uh, this is really kind of a prototype version 1. I had what was basically a good concept for a deck, and I wanted to flesh it out. Uh, I used this at my local, and I ended up going 3 and 1, which is kind of mixed results. Um, I proved that the theory works, uh, but the structure around it needs work. I'm going to rebuild it. Um, I tried for like a black, uh, black white, sort of dark and light variant, and it worked okay, but I'm thinking of swapping it around. But anyway, I'll let you guys see what you think. Uh, please comment and rate and whatnot. Uh, let me know what fixes you would do. Uh, what direction you think you'd like to take it. Uh, I definitely have a strong idea for where I'm going to go with it. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the deck itself, rather than me bore you with this. Um, first cards you're going to see are pretty much the crux of the deck. The Creator, times three. Uh, the Creator is excellent in this format. Uh, he's more powerful than he ever was before. Basically, this guy's about as powerful as you're ever going to get in a synchro environment. Uh, because he re revives all the synchros that are important, and not only that, he uh, brings back tuners and tuner materials. So basically, any monster in your hand plus a monster in your grave can equal virtually any synchro. It gives you a lot of versatility, and that's the core of the deck, is field control, field advantage based on your extra deck. Um, that's really what it's all about. Uh, next card, one copy of the Creator Incarnate. Uh, this guy's amazing. Uh, when I was playing, I definitely found myself searching for this guy a lot. Um, basically any game where I used him and summoned the creator, I won. Um, and that's, that's kind of how it goes. I think there's only one exception to that. Uh, next up is Stratos. Two copies of Dasher, uh, because the creator can't be special summoned from the grave, but he can from any other location. So dunking this guy into the grave, uh, obviously with three copies of creator, you can hit him off the top of your deck. Uh, two copies of Mali, this is more for sinking than anything else. Summoner Monk, easily searched, uh, gets your 4-star tuner, puts monsters that are good to retrieve in the grave, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not going to give you a lot of exposition on all of these. Honest, an amazing card to get with Creator, just because you can pull him out of the grave, he'll bounce himself off the field into your hand, and so, obviously, the Creator being light attribute, um, now they can't charge him if he's in attack mode. Um, so it's a, it's a great little combo, and you can keep bringing the Honest back, obviously. Mist Valley Soldier, uh, now that this guy's around, unfortunately Rose is deposed, because this guy's just 100% better, pretty much. Um, Armageddon Knight, enough said. Mystic Tomato, Sangan, Gale, another awesome one. Plague, Double Krebens, um, one of the cards I'm thinking about switching out, to be honest with you. Uh, one copy of Chaos Sorcerer. And Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, it's pretty easy to hit Dad, especially with Crater to manipulate your darks in your grave. So that's the monster count. Moving on, Storm, MST, Ring Control, Mind Control, Rota, Double Lure, Double D Draw, One Copy Pot of Avarice. And double book, those are all your spells. Um, your traps, mirror force, torrential, solemn. Really need that solemn to help protect you. Once you get creator down, you're trying to keep him down. Uh, that is down on the field, of course. Call. Return. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer, Dad, Allure. There are plenty of ways to get things removed from play. Uh, so this is a great way to bring him back, and it doesn't hurt to Chaos Sorcerer, your creator, and then bring him back. That is to say, remove him to pay for Chaos Sorcerer coming into play, obviously, and then him, uh, sorry, return to bring him back. Um, and finally, two, uh, two copies of Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, extra decks these days are pretty straightforward, but um, still going to give it to you. Um, Double Stardust. Red Dragon. Double Colossal, Thought Ruler, Avenging Knight, uh, found myself thinking for him with Honest, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Black Rose, yeah, kind of hard to see that. Life Transfer, she's still um, pretty much the best 7 star generic synchro monster, um, which in some ways is kind of sad, but in some ways not. Um, 
she's still just the best. I mean, yeah, you can ancient fairy for the defense, but a lot of times you want the offense more. Uh, the kill power is important. Armor Master. Arknight. Goya. Brian Ack. Just um, wow on that guy. Of course. Guy Knight. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Flambel Urukizis, or however you pronounce his name. But uh, that guy takes quite a while to ramp up to the same kind of attack power this guy's got from the start. Um, and basically, Urukizis, unfortunately, in most cases, is not going to be worth it. More often than not, you just want the base attack power. And Brian Act doesn't offer that. So this guy's a nice alternative if Goyo's out of the question. And of course, if you're using your 6 star synchro as a way to get to an 8 star synchro, this guy's probably the most painless way to do it. Because um, you don't lose a lot if you have to sync him off immediately. Um, and last but not least, of course, Ally of Justice Cataster. And that's pretty much it. In this deck, you don't have to use too many copies of any given synchro for the most part, because you can always create her to bring it back once it dies. So, um, that's the deck. Uh, please rate, comment, and of course, subscribe. Thanks.